Mr Acting Deputy President, I seek leave to take note of the response from the Premier of Queensland, Mr Newman, to the, clo the National Close the Gap Day uh, motion. Is leave granted? There being no objection, leave is granted. Senator Seward. Um, in the short time um, that is remaining before um, we break, I would like to um, take note of the response from, Minister, uh, from uh, Premier Newman, who does make some good points in his response to uh, the resolution of the chamber on the National Close the Gap Day. People recall he points out a number of programs, in particular the Deadly Ears program that combats chronic ear disease and prevents um, hearing loss. As people will know, it's a particular passion of mine. But I would also like to point out um, some of the um, issues around the continuation of some of the Close the Gap programs that we may be looking at the closure of tonight in the budget, one of those being the National Partnership Agreement on Indigenous Early Childhood Development. Now, we all know how absolutely critical it is that we address early childhood development for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander children because we know that it's the foundation about how they can, um, in fact, um, have a per, uh, develop later. It has fundamental impacts on later life opportunities and also breaks the cycle of intergenerational uh, poverty and disadvantage. It's particularly disappointing that it looks like this program will close. And I note the Queensland Minister for Education, um, John Paul Lambrock, wrote to the Federal um, Indigenous Affairs Minister um, Nigel Scullion last week warning that failure to renew the agreement at a at a critical stage of the program would potentially force the closure of some Queensland family centres. This would be heartbreaking, given that these programs are starting to play such a critical role in addressing the gaps in early childhood development for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander children. I have spoken in this place also of, for example, the Wyndham Early Learning Centre as of course in Wyndham in Western Australia, which was funded by this program and that after June is likely to have no further funding for any of the programs they deliver, making a complete waste of a facility that is an excellent facility in Wyndham that provides critical support for Aboriginal children in the Kimberley and addressing those gaps in early childhood development. There are a myriad of programs this government is talking about in the budget potentially being wrapped up into five or six programs. There are many, many Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples that are desperate to know what is going to happen to these programs and for the continuation of these programs that are absolutely critical to closing the gap. It will be a tragedy if these centres that I've just been referred to, just be referring to, the family um, centres that particularly address this early childhood development um, and that are delivering programs that are absolutely critical to closing the gap. If we lose these programs, we can kiss goodbye to us being able to close the gap by the target date because we are already behind, as we know from the report that was tabled in this place not two months ago, um, or a bit, low, sorry, a bit over two months ago, that showed that we are making some progress on some indicators, but we are simply not meeting many of the indicators on progress on closing the gap. Unless we have these centres, we will fail to close the gap. Make no mistake, we need to be keeping a sustained input into specific programs that meet Aboriginal and Torres Strait Island needs and not think which is what I suspect might happen in an hour's time when we hear the budget, that the government thinks they can mainstream these programs. They simply can't because they don't address the needs of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples. Thank you, Senator Seward. The question is the motion moved by Senator Seward be agreed to. Those of that opinion say aye. Those against say no. I think the